so I'll start with the vision where we came to from when we started on the journey for smart financials. And then I'll come to a topic that I think most of you, if you've come from a legacy system, come from anywhere else, have maybe struggled with it in our existing SAP system, namely, how do you get a common profit and loss statement that not only looks at the FI side, FI side of the house, but also at the CO side of the house. Now, you're all experts. You all know that a payroll posting comes into the general ledger, gets converted into a profit and loss account a profit and loss account and then to a primary cost element in CO and gets a cost center attached. But in the past, those were two completely separate documents with a link at the header. And now we're bringing those together so that they can basically be reported on as if they're one line item. The same on the CO side of the house when it's a revenue item or a cost of goods sold item. It's coming in onto a profit and loss account getting tied to a primary cost element in account-based COPA, and then I'm joining in the COPA dimensions for reporting. And of course, this radically changes the way we do profitability analysis. Just to make things absolutely clear, costing-based COPA isn't going away. Don't panic. I always get lots of people who say, but I've been doing costing-based COPA for the last 15 years, and it's wonderful. Just think of this as another alternative, that instead of twisting everything into value fields, we're basically using the accounts, the cost elements, to make it possible to link those COPA dimensions with the accounts in FI. And I'm sure some of you are already sitting there going, but you know, when you go to COPA, you do that because you want to break out your cost of goods sold into multiple cost components. You want to break out your price differences. And I'll talk about some of the changes we're making there to make account-based COPA a little bit more like costing-based COPA. The other thing a lot of people don't realize is that you can actually do allocations and top-down distribution in account-based COPA. I think top-down distribution was released in about 4.7, but almost nobody knows. So I'll talk a little bit about how overhead costs get captured, how it gets allocated, and how you do these disaggregations where you post things at a fairly high-level dimension like region or product group and break it down to all the assigned items. And then I'll talk about things like work in process and some of the other reports that we'd be doing, and how we're changing the way we approach the period close. And of course, at the end, lots of times the questions 